your blood sugar doesn't have all that much to do with keto. Okay, if you see your blood sugar rising, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not in keto and it doesn't necessarily have that much of a negative effect on your ketogenic lifestyle. I see a lot of people that measure their success on keto or measure whether a food is good or bad purely based upon what their blood sugar level is. I gotta break this down because quite honestly, it's way different than what you might think. Hey, you're watching the internet's leading performance and nutrition channel. New videos coming out every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I also wanna make sure you head on over to highleat.com to check out the premium performance apparel I'm always wearing in my videos. All right, so what it comes down to is two different things. One is called physiological insulin resistance, okay? Physiologic insulin resistance is what we actually want, and I'll explain it in a second. Pathological insulin resistance is like what you get when you're diabetic, for example. You see, basically, in short, what's going on is your body is starting to refuse the acceptance of glucose. Your cells are no longer accepting as much glucose. All right, so let's put this into context. You've been consuming carbs for most of your life, so your cells, your muscles are all used to using carbs. Then all of a sudden, you start keto, so your body becomes fat adapted it becomes used to using fats. So therefore, those cells refuse the acceptance of carbs. Well, guess what? Even though your body is refusing to use the carbs, it's still producing glucose. We always produce glucose. We need glucose within the body. This means that no matter what, the body is finding a way to create carbs. It's creating glucose from your protein, it's creating glucose from your lactate, it's creating glucose from all kinds of different processes to function the specific cells that still need glucose. Okay, so when you're in keto, the liver produces ketones. Those ketones fuel the brain. Then the muscles are fueled by free fatty acids. Where does this leave glucose? This leaves glucose in the equation for the small amount of cells within the body that require glucose, that can't function on anything else. So this means that you still have a physiological requirement for glucose, but most of your cells are denying access with the glucose. This means that your blood sugar is going to be elevated if you're in keto, generally speaking. So you might find that your blood glucose goes up when you're in keto, although it probably remains somewhat stable. Okay, and you might also notice that your blood sugar is higher in the morning. Okay, this has to do with what's called the dawn phenomenon. The dawn phenomenon is where early in the morning your body produces a bunch of cortisol, a bunch of epinephrine, a bunch of norepinephrine to get you amped up and get you awake. Well, those catecholamines like epinephrine and adrenaline, they release glucose into the blood. That's part of their whole process. So no matter what, whether you're keto or not, they're still releasing glucose into the blood but you just released glucose into the blood and that glucose doesn't have a whole lot of places to go because a vast majority of your cells are refusing it. So therefore, it stays in your bloodstream and elevates your blood glucose. Then you go and you eat some protein and that protein gets converted into glucose. So your glucose goes even higher. So you start blaming your higher blood sugar on all these different foods. You're looking at, oh, well, what did I eat? I ate this and it made my blood sugar high. It's kicking me out of keto. That's not the case. This is just the way the body works. So your blood glucose might go higher. It doesn't mean that your ketone production has stopped. So I don't want you to freak out. What you do want to be focusing on is making sure that your blood sugar levels are nice and stable. You don't want big spikes. You don't want big falls. You just want to keep it nice and consistent so that insulin levels are low where they should be and blood glucose levels are nice and even where they should be. As always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos, make sure you put them in the comment section. See you in the next video.